Welcome to another episode of NOC Tech. Today, we are reviewing laptop. HP have sent us two series of laptop, the Pavilion X360 and the Spectra X360. Are these the best slim laptop in Singapore? Well, you gotta stay tuned to find out, of course. So even before the laptop arrived, I was told to write a review. And I was like, how can I write a review? Must see, see, touch, touch, then can review what? But regardless, I did look at the specs and this is what I thought. Both laptops are powered by Intel. Intel inside, extraordinary performance outside. The Spectre X360 had an Intel Core i7-7500U, 500GB of NVMe SSD, 8GB of RAM, on-board graphics and a 13.3 1080p multi-touch IPS display. And the Pavilion X360 had an Intel Core i5-7200U, 125GB of SSD with 1TB of HDD, 8GB of RAM, 940MX graphic card and a 14-inch 1080p multi-touch IPS display. And really the only thing that was remotely interesting was that all the laptops could do the 360 and make it a tablet. And on paper, it really didn't make any sense because the Spectra cost 1,100 more than the Pavilion 360. But spec-wise, not much difference. At least not a thousand dollar difference. On paper lah, don't forget. On paper, haven't seen the laptop yet. When the laptop arrived, costing $1,299, it's actually a pretty decent laptop. On the right, there's two USB port, one USB Type-C port, HDMI output and SD card slot, and a power input. On the left, there is a 3.5 audio jack, on and off button, and the volume button. Touch screen is responsive. The keyboard feels great. The white touchpad is a little weird, but efficient. It somehow can detect your palms, so it doesn't respond when you lean your palms while typing. And the speakers are loud, like really, really loud. So the Spectra X360 had a lot of explaining to do. Mm. Mm. Seeing that it costs $2,399. So firstly, the laptop comes with a nicer box. In it, you have a laptop with a Stylo Milo logo, a USB Type-C to HDMI adapter, a laptop bag. While using the laptop, I realized how light it was, weighing only 1.3 kilograms. And if you ever use a slim and light laptop, it usually comes with a lot of limitation, whether is it less ports or performance. Well, this doesn't. The keyboard and touchpad, like the Pavilion, feels great. You get an even wider touchpad. I don't know how is that possible with a smaller laptop. On the left, you have one USB port, 3.5 audio jack, a power button, and on the right, you have a volume button and what? Two Thunderbolt 3.0 ports. Wow! So that means if you have a really fast Thunderbolt hard drive, or if you want to get something like the Razer Core and use this laptop to game, you can. And the speakers, for something so small, it's really fantastic. It's not only loud like the Pavilion, but it's also crisp. Let's do a short test. Let's hit the drop. Hit the drop. <laughs> Spectra 360. Oh, this really got different eh. I don't know whether you can hear it, you'll be the judge. Which one is better, the Pavlon 360 or the uh, Spectra 360? Be the judge, comment in the section below. Other than that, the Spectra X360 took 10 seconds to start up and everything feels uh, lightning fast. Probably because of the NVMe SSD. So practically, how was the Spectra X360? I brought the Spectra X360 home using public transport and I didn't have a bag, so I had to carry it in a laptop case they provided. Although I didn't like the practical design of the case because the side were pointed out, so it kind of hurt after a while, but because of the lightweight, it didn't feel as weird as I thought carrying it upright. So no problems there. When I was home, I managed to complete my work, replying emails, even with some Photoshop work, even setting up Hello Windows. Then, when I'm all comfy and snuggly on my bed, I use the Spectra X360 in all ways you can think of to watch some videos. And before I knew it, it was 4 a.m. and the battery lasted through the night. I think it was close to 5 to 6 hours of usage. So, battery life, thumbs up. 
So in conclusion, there is more than meets the eye for the Spectra X360. Strong balance of performance and size. With an added feature, the 360 does serve a purpose because they just sent us a stylus. <laughs> so if you are looking for the most premium product in the market, the Spectra X360 is for you. But if the price is not what you're looking for and you don't mind the extra weight, then an alternative option is the Pavlon X360. Not gonna be as fast as this, but it does get the job done. Also, you can check out their website. There are a few models you can choose from if you decide to get any of these. Other than that, do tell us what do you think about the HP laptops. To the people that have laptops, do you travel a lot with your laptops? Leave all this in the comment section below. Do remember to like and remember to click here for more and click here to subscribe. Fraction. See the camera? Can you see the camera? Camera!